Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Random BS. Today is January 2nd, 2021, the year of our Lord. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And also make sure you hit that like button so other like-minded people can hear the message. Now, we're in a new year. We all know how destructive the year 2020 was and how it put a lot of Americans from all walks of life in some very uncompromising positions. We were, our lives, pretty much the majority of the people in this country lives were interrupted, their livelihoods damaged, destroyed by the coronavirus pandemic we had a very disturbing um, presidential election and moving into the year 2021 oh i didn't forget that the eviction apocalypse that is upon us so as we move into the year 2021 it's probably going to be a little worse you have a complete effort of big tech corporations to censor anyone that does not you know carry forth the mainstream media narrative for us with the election for us with the coronavirus Enforced with the coronavirus vaccine. And we have a constitutional right to speak, to speak freely. But these big tech corporations and the mainstream media in bed with the Democratic Party establishment to try to take away your Second Amendment, your, your Second Amendment rights and your First Amendment rights. They, <clears throat> it's an all-out assault on both of those amendments. Your freedom of speech and the freedom to bear arms. Now, mainly with big tech is that anybody that shows any dissent or present any other kind of information that does not go along with the mainstream media's propaganda, YouTube will claim that it is misinformation. And every time content, content creators talk about things that the powers that be doesn't like, YouTube changes and other uh, big tech companies change their, you know, community guideline standards to fit around what they want to eliminate. They will, you know, suspend channels, completely take channels down, remove content, and then give you a message saying, due to the coronavirus, we are working shorthanded, so we might not even be able to review your appeal and all kind of stuff. I have been a victim of that personally from the YouTube and from the Facebook, but it's not going to stop me from putting out information that people should be able to decipher and go, you know, research it. They don't want you calling this last presidential election what it is. They don't want you to talk about the virus and call it for what it is. They don't want you to call this uh, vaccine that they're trying to give all the Americans what it is. They will not address the eviction apocalypse that's upon us, where over 14 million Americans are just 29 days away from becoming homeless. And they think that constantly pushing this uh, rent moratorium or preventing people from being evicted from their homes, pushing it back months at a time it's going to fix the problem it's not it's not going to fix the problem 
all they're doing is putting more Americans in more and more debt. And to show gratitude what these uh, people do, our government officials do, is turn around and give you a $600 check while they send hundreds of billion dollars in foreign aid to other countries. That's what they do. And try to censor anybody that calls this stuff out. It's a lot of stuff going on. You have these politicians going around, especially the one that ran for president on the Democratic side, talking about that it's going to be a dark winter. And the worst from this pandemic has, has been yet to come. The Democratic Party is out here picking winners and losers in this coronavirus pandemic. It is perfectly fine for you to go spend your money at Walmart or any of these other big box stores, but you better not go to that mom and pop store and they make sure that by imposing these restrictions and lockdowns, mostly in Democratic controlled municipalities, they know that this coronavirus pandemic is a business and job killer. It is wiping out small businesses where people have worked 10, 20, 30 years to build a, rep a reputable business all being destroyed by these st stupid restrictions. None of this stuff has been proven to work, but they have convinced the masses because a lot of people sit around all day and just watch the idiot box. So they believe this stuff. They're not going to do anything for the American people. They're not going to save the American people from the inedible of these evictions that's coming. They're not going to do that. They're just not. We have 72 million American citizens that don't even think this election that we just had in November is legit. We have people all across this country showing side effects from this vaccine. But you won't see the mainstream media talk about this. And if you say the wrong things on the YouTube, the Facebook, or the Twitter, They'll suspend your account, take your information down, or pretty much just ban you all in general. The truth does not need to be shielded. The truth can handle scrutiny and still stand when all the scrutiny is gone. They have an agenda. They have an agenda. And it's one thing I noticed, especially with the YouTube and with the Facebook and their sister app, Instagram, and the Twitter when it comes to black heterosexual males. If you participate in the buffoonery and the stupidity and if you indulge in the culture wars going back and forth, back and forth with other black men or with black women over stupid shit, your channels will grow. But if you are giving life-saving information to other black men, especially younger black men, the YouTube will throttle your channel. They will slow it down. They will shadow ban it. They will take information down. Because they don't want people to be educated. They don't want you to be able to critically think they don't want you to do any research. They want you to take in what they give you and believe it. And how they do that is by hiding and getting rid of alternative information, counter information. That's why every time you make a video talking about the election or this pandemic, they have these little tags on your videos and on Facebook when you post stuff they put a little wall up 
saying that this stuff has been checked by the fact checkers. Nobody knows who is Facebook fact checkers. Nobody knows if YouTube staff is actually really viewing the content. Nobody knows this. But if you're giving out medical information about the vaccine or this virus, if the information is not being regurgitated from what the CDC has said or the World Health Organization have said, then they're going to consider that uh, medical misinformation. Even though it's coming from a trained profession, professional in that field. It's a reason why they're doing it. They want you to be dumb. Because the dumber you are, the easier it is for them to control and to take the rest of your civil liberties and the little freedom that you have. Most Americans are asleep. They have been low to sleep for a very long time. And they don't want to wake up. They don't want to deal with the harsh realities of what's going on and what is coming down the pike. Folks, their whole plan is to grab all the power by imposing pain and suffering on a large portion of the American people. And they know that a lot of Americans don't have the will to stand up and fight back. They just don't. That's why they can have, you know, people walking around with masks on their face looking crazy. Or they're going to a store to buy a loaf of bread. A mask that the majority of the people put on their face every day is very unsanitary. They know this. They know that they can scare a large portion of American citizens to where they want to just stay in their homes and weaken their immune system and make them more susceptible of catching this virus. Folks, you have to boost your immune system. People with a healthy immune system handle this virus with ease. People with compromised immune systems and preconditions struggle and sometimes it ends fatally. But they don't tell you that the majority of the people that die from this virus or, you know, basically already on the teeter of death anyway. They're in their 80s, late 70s, 80s. They don't tell you that. If, when you're around that age, a common cold, the flu can kill you just because of just sheer age alone. But the media make it seem like people are just walking down the street dropping like flies because of this virus. You know, they try to find, you know, they set the algorithms up to, you know, listen for certain keywords. And when those keywords are said, it triggers the algorithm for this video to be flagged. Or they put up some kind of wall or something else or say it's inappropriate. Anything, you know, at their discretion to get rid of the content and try to make it discouraging for you to continue to put out content that is going against their narrative. You know, why is Dr. Fauci, you know, opinions on things is held higher than other professionals in his field of work? When was the last time Dr. Fauci even seen a patient? He's been in the government for decades. In the position he's in right now for probably over 30 years. He don't have patients going to a, an office. He's not hands on with patients. But see, Fauci is in on it.
folks, you need to prepare yourself for what is coming, for more hardships, for more lockdowns. A continuation of these restrictions. A continuation of crippling small businesses. A continuation of social distancing. They don't want you to communicate. They want to break that. They know that humans are social species. They want to break that. And how they break that is imposing these lockdowns. There is no evidence that locking the country down will stop the spread. Because every time you turn up, now we got this mutated form of this virus. What is next? And there's so many people out here that is so terrified that they are believing everything they see on the idiot box. They think that social distancing and shutting down the economy, destroying the American economy, destroying Americans' way of life will give them some kind of sense of normalcy in the end. But it's a news flash. They're never going to give you back any rights that you allow them to take from you. We've seen that with the Patriot Act. And look where we're at now. Folks, it's hard to say, it's hard to believe this, but our government do not have our best interest. They know that the American people do not have the will to fight. They know that if the American people decided to fight, they would be crushed. But the psychological gains that they have over the American public makes them feel weak. And it gives them all the power. They're not going to stop. The stuff that they were doing in 2020, they're going to do it tenfold in 2021. They're going to do that stuff tenfold. And they ain't going to stop until you have no other choice but to depend on the government. And once that happens... They will have you doing anything, taking any kind of vaccines, giving up, willing to give up your freedoms. And that's what they want. And they won't stop until they get it. And people, you're making it easy for them. You're making it easy to make you a victim. And that's what they want, total domination over the American citizens and over the citizens of the globe. That's what these people want. And they won't stop until they get it. And as long as all the sheep stay asleep, the wolves will feast like they have been. Folks, you need to wake up. Boost your immune system. Try to change your eating habits the best way you can. Research how to put better nutrients in your body so you can be prepared to fight off this virus if you so to catch it. You know, I think that a lot of people have already had this virus and don't didn't even know it. But you need to prepare yourself. If you are forced and have to wear these face coverings, you know, clean them face coverings daily. Clean that stuff. Because all it is is a rest haven for germs right there on your face. Right there. And if you are able to work, save your money. Buy extra box and can foods. I just have a feeling that 2021 is going to be a lot rougher.
than 2022 for a whole lot of people. And if you're not prepared, you will be a victim. That's why they won't talk about the side effects to the vaccine. That's why they won't talk to the people that have experienced the side effects from this vaccine. All they try to do is say, well, she's been fact-checked and this story is not true. Chill out. That's my dog. Chill out. Don't. But folks, just prepare yourself so when stuff hit the fan, you're in a position to protect you and your family. If you like the content, feel free to share it. Like and subscribe to the channel. Peace, and I'm out.